Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, new day, new topic. And our today's topic is system testing FAT and SAT part 21. And this topic will be presented in parts. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to various topics of engineering, fundamental instrumentation and control engineering deliverable procurement engineering, telecommunication engineering, project and career and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is system testing FAT and SAT part 21. The content of this series that is system testing FAT and SAT part 21. Pre-factory and factory acceptance test part 21 this video site acceptance test SAT part 21 that will be the next video difference between FAT and SAT with example part 21b that will be the last video of this series system testing FAT and SAT system testing examine the entire system its functionalities reliability and other features based on the system requirement specification that is SRS or the functional requirement specification. This type of testing is essential as the majority of the testing activities takes place in this space. One can refer to the picture where the system testing types are defined. For the system testing there are several methods however only the significant testing methods are put into the practices we will see one by one. First one functionality testing. This type of testing focuses on the system feature check, checks whether feature according to the client's requirement that is carried out by manually as well as the automated tools. Second performance testing is also known as a compliance testing in regards to the system performance. It checks how multiple user use the application at a one time and how the application is performing. Third, load testing. This examines system behavior by variety of a load condition. Load testing, stress testing and scalability testing are the examples of the performance testing. Scalability testing. The scalability testing tests the software in terms of the user scalability geographic scalability and the resources. It is a non-functional testing method. It takes a place on the hardware, software or at the database level. Fifth, reliability testing. When the system is put through its uh, paces in a control setting, it is checked to see if it is free of the error. Reliability testing assures that the software is bug free and reliably available for the using. Sixth, configuration testing. A testing software to verify the system development performance against various software and the hardware combinations to check how the system can be best configured to work with its functional requirement without any defects and problems. Seven, security testing. Security testing is a software evaluation that identifies defects, hazards and a risk in a product and helps to prevent security breaches. The purpose of the security testing is to identify any flaws that could result into the data loss, money loss or the loss of the other useful or the sensitive information. The development of a testing specification at the same time of the design specification, one can refer to the picture where FAT, SAT details are given. This reduces the project implementation time and help to ensure that the functional and the design specifications are the testable. Hardware acceptance testing is more likely to take place as part of the FAT but some of the elements of the hardware testing may only be completed in situ that is on site during the SAT. Next, software module testing 
and package configuration testing are more likely to take place as part of the FAT, but some of the may apply or only may be completed on the site during SAT. Software integration testing start during FAT, but some of these can only be conducted on site during SAT. The result of the hardware and the software module testing can all be referenced or summarized as part of the installation qualification. The result of the packages, configuration and the software integration testing can all be referenced or summarized as part of the operational qualification. Some of the system acceptance testing may be conducted as part of the FAT, but many acceptance tests can only be conducted as part of the SAT. One can correlate all these detail with the reference figure which is available from the industrial software engineering and automation system validation for the pharmaceutical industry. This is we are taken as an example. Now moving on to inspection and testing of the control system. For better understanding, we will see simplified version of this inspection and the testing. The responsibilities of the vendor in the inspecting and a testing a system, one can refer to the figure where inspection, 100% inspection, sample inspection are the part of the inspection. The vendor should be responsible for inspection, quality assurance of the material and the standard of the workmanship. All the formal testing will be conducted as per the written test procedure. Testing will be carried out in the presence of the contractor and the company representative at various stages. First, pre-factory acceptance conducted at the manufacturer's facility. Second, factory acceptance test as mentioned above. Third, site installation test conducted at a job site. Fourth, site acceptance test conducted at the job site. In our today's video, we will cover the first part that is a pre-factory and factory acceptance test in detail in this series. Pre-factory acceptance test that is a pre-fat. One can refer to the picture where one can see the complete setup for the pre-factory testing. A. The standard vendor procedure for thermal cycling of a parts or the system should be provided in the vendor's proposal. B. The system equipment will be inspected by a company representative prior to the pre-factory acceptance test for the satisfactory quality and workmanship. C. The entire pre-factory acceptance test that is the pre-fat procedure must be successfully exercised on the system by the vendor prior to the fat and inspection offerings to the client or the customer for factory acceptance test of the control system. Factory acceptance test FAT. A factory acceptance testing FAT helps to verify testing of all the system component or equipment for their hardware, software and application integrity to their optimum performance by which the newly manufactured and package equipment meets the intended purpose. The FAT validates the operation of the equipment and make sure that the customer purchase order specification and all the requirements have been made. B. As per IEC 61511, a FAT of a control system or a safety instrumented system it is not required, but it is necessary to carry out the hardware and application software testing of the system. The FAT is a practical way to test and verify the proper operation of the safety instrumented system that is the control system or which may also be applicable for the DCS, PLC, etc. system. See the testing of all the parts of the system which are newly designed as per the specifications to certify their performance. FAT is not a standard procedure but it is a customized relative to the system design where the goal is to develop the procedure uh, with the help of the customer and execute a series of the tests with the proper test equipment prior to release and 
shipment of the system to the customer's location. Purpose of the testing A FAT is an opportunity for troubleshooting during installation and commissioning of the equipment in the field area. This can significantly reduce commissioning, validation delays, and reduce the number of personnel waiting around for the equipment to be ready. A FAT is conducted to determine equipment hardware and the software according to the specification, covering functional testing, fault and alarm management, system communication, support system, and interfacing requirement. Now, after this, we will move on to the FAT procedure. The FAT procedure is a well-defined uh, document to cover the control system, equipment and the functionality to be tested. The FAT should evaluate the hardware and the software testing, comprehension and the performance because of this affects the ability of the owner operator to safely modify the equipment in the future. FAT procedure A. A test plan and a procedure should be developed to ensure comprehensiveness of the test execution. The procedure should describe test method, functionality to be tested, pass-fail criteria, test documentation and a system drawing. B. The required documents are made available such as a piping and instrumentation diagram that is a PNID, scope and the specification, drawing mainly the GADs control philosophy, function schematic, logic diagram, graphics, cause and effect diagram, etc. And mainly inspection and test plan, checklist and a procedure specific to the FAT, calibrations and the certifications are required by the contract. See, peripheral equipment such as a sequence of the event recorders, communication modules and IO remote communication should be included. Mainly the hardware manufacturer conduct a functional test of the equipment in accordance with the quality procedures or the control plan. Typically, they should include reliability and safety, protection check, safety earthing and its design and power check. The, the equipment components are connected and powered up to the basic functionality fault management and communication ability is validated. This quality control test is not a substitute for the validation of the system. E FAT is a typically used for hardware and its diagnosis including the processors, power supply, communication module and I.O. module etc. The application program and its compatibility with the hardware are validated separately. F, a list of all the required testing equipment such as a digital multimeter, milliamp, millivolt source, continuity tester and other specific testing equipment for hardware testing should drawn up there and made available on the FAT shop floor. This is how we have tried to cover the FAT and FAT along with their details and testing and the purpose of the testing, procedures, etc. Keep watching this series so that the continuation of the topic will remain there and stay tuned for our next topic. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topics.